Chapter 10. All right, it's on the liabilities. Yeah. So, but I will not go very detailed on this topic, uh, assuming that um, you are only given uh, six weeks this round, yeah? Uh, so, I'll be more on the practical side of this topic, and I, I hope that I can do another topic also tonight. So, I will just go, um, not very detailed, lah. I will not cover all the content in this chapter 10. Right, so what is a liability? So, all this yeah. one, liability is part of your... Uh, remember your equation asset equals to liabilities plus honest equity? Honest right? equity, yes. Sir. Yeah, so all this one, kita dah tengok apa? We have looked into your inventories, right? Uh, we have yet to look into your mm -hmm. cash. Yep. And then account receivable pun, we don't go very detail. Uh, tadi, just now, I have covered your mm -hmm. assets, plant and plan intangible asset as well as your resources, natural resources. So now yeah. we go into the other side of the equation, which is a liabilities, right? So liabilities is actually, uh, is an adapts or obligation, yeah? So that's why I'm near liability because it's an obligation for you, right, uh, to pay in the future, right? So this is arising from past transactions or events. So it means that whenever you have a liability, it means that you have to, this is thing that you have to pay in the future. Okay, so this liability is divided into two. One is the current liabilities. The other one is the non-current liabilities, right? Current liabilities, anything that is uh, maturity is one year or less. So it means that you have to pay that uh, this year or, or maybe the following year, right? So so it's just less than 12 months punya uh, commitment, all right? So the, the obligation that you have to pay within one year or less. But if it's more than one year, then we put that under non-current liabilities. Yeah, so current is less than one non year. Non okay. is more. So you have longer period to settle. All right. So normally, so your current liability, normally the value is smaller as compared to your non-current liabilities. All right. Normally the loans, uh, long-term loans, sometimes kita panggil. Yeah. So these are the two types of liabilities. Mm -hmm. Right. So remember that the equation is asset. Long term, long term. Long term, long -term liabilities. Right? Non current, long term. Long -term, long -term. Lah. Current is current. Non current, okay. sometimes we call long term. Okay. Yeah? So the next liabilities. one is that uh, you remember the equation is asset equals to liabilities plus honest equity. The. So, my yeah, in the order book. for you to have an asset, it has to be financed either by the debt or by the equity, right? So whatever asset that you have, for example, you have your building, you have your inventories, you have your equipment. Nampak? Benda ni semua your asset. So in order to acquire this asset, if you do not have cash, right, you don't have enough cash to acquire your assets, so this asset is either, that's what I'm near finance. Right, it's, it's actually mm. financed either by debts or equity. Right, for example, means that kalau you, if you want to buy an equipment, either you pay by cash, so means that you 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 pay, you pay out cash lah for the equipment. Mm. But you don't have enough cash, you can either borrow from the creditors. So namanya debt. So when you borrow money. In order for you to acquire the asset, then you are creating a, a debt. And the debt is something that you have to pay later. So that's why it's called a liability. Right? So, so that means they, they have a period lah. They have the tempo Sorry. masa. They have yes, the tempo masa lah. Yes, normally they do have whether it could be one year, it could be two years, three years. So that's why below one year tu, it becomes a short term lah. All right, kita panggil current liability. But if more than one year, then it becomes a uh, non-current liability. Non-current okay. liability. Mm -hmm. uh, so this, all right, uh, how you get the money from, if it's a debt, it could be from creditors. Yeah. You can borrow from the director. You can borrow from uh, your family members, for example. Uh, most likely, company will borrow uh, from the banks. Yeah, from financial institution. And when you borrow money, normally it comes with, other costs and this cost what we call interest lah. 
right? For example, you buy, uh, you you want to buy an equipment or house, for example, a building that costs you building, one hundred thousand, for example, all right? So you don't have enough cash, so you borrow from the bank, and the bank say, okay, I can fund, all right, the purchase of your equipment, but for that you have to pay me interest. So in Islam, this interest is clearly is a is a riba, right? Riba, yeah. So, yeah. So whenever you have uh, anything that you lend money plus additional cost, so that is a riba, right? So what we do is that, of course, we do have the Islamic Islamic uh, ah. banking, okay. right? So whether mm. it could be murabaha ke mudoraba, I'm not an expert in this area, but that's how we actually uh, dis distinguish between a riba and a halal transaction, right? So I'm not going into that lah, yeah? But you know that when you borrow from the bank or any creditors, right? Sometimes it's not only the principal that you have to pay, you have to pay additional. This for commissioner, cost, commissioner, right? Rather. Commissioner, yes. right? Huh. Yes. So the additional cost is what we call interest. Yeah, so you have interest expense. So when you pay back later, right? You are going to pay back two parts one is you're going to pay back the principal portion and the other part is the interest yes. portion interest portion so you have to differentiate between the principal and the interest huh? because yes. the interest is your expense yeah so that one we look into later another way of financing all right you want to buy an equipment you don't want to take a debt so you may request from your uh, other people all right in this case, we talk about the funds from the owners. So if you are talking about a single enterprise, right? So the owner will have to uh, bring up money all right, in order for you to purchase the asset. All right. Or for example, big companies, all right? For example, those listed companies. So they need fund, they can always issue, uh, for example, uh, open. Uh, the company for more shares to be invested, right? So people can buy shares and that's how the company actually get money from people, all right? But all those who bought the shares are the shareholders of the company. So these are the two types of uh, financing. Either one is from debt, the other one is equity. So for debt, you have the at cost, what we call that you have to pay interest on the debt. And normally that has a contract for you to pay the debt they give you what is the term loan, all right? Means that how much is the loan and then how much are you going to pay every month, installment payment, for example, and how much the interest portion. So all these things is documented. It's a contract. But talking about uh, if you take up from the equity, right, the, the owners, so you don't have to pay them back, but normally you pay in the form of dividends. But again, dividends is another uh, way of looking at eh? Yeah. Okay. So coming back, the topic is on liabilities. All right. So liabilities is just an estimate, right? So uh, estimated liability have two basic. It it is known to exist. You know that you have to pay for it, right? However, the precise dollar amount um, among cannot be determined until a later date. So this is why we say that. Okay. For example, uh, you buy, uh, when for example, in this case, you're talking about. Mm, company right a company that sell a motor vehicle right so normally when you provide your motor uh, when you sell a few things right it comes with that warranty right so it means that uh, if uh, the product right is a malfunction for example or it's a faulty right and of course there is a re there's a some mm, saying that okay it must be a manufacturer's uh, default for example yeah so all this comes to your warranty but it doesn't mean that all the goods that you sell all right your consumer will request for a uh, a warranty or uh, uh, will request for a replacement for example yeah because if the product is un still under warranty if it's not working then you can always request for a, a replacement for example so all these things is not not everyone will ask for replacement so that's why we say that the warranty itself it's not an obligation. It's an obligation, but it's not precise how much is the warranty, right? But don't worry about this. Uh, more importantly is that you have to understand that, all right, the current liability just now, remember that current liability is anything which is less than one year, all right? So it means that how you can come up with this current liability, what we call accounts payable, 
Yeah. So it says that uh, when you purchase from your supplier, all right, for the purchase of your merchandise and others for goods and services. So anything to do with your business, all right? If you were to borrow, all right, or you purchase something and you're going to pay that later on account, right? So for example, you purchase your inventory, you purchase your office supplies, all right? Or maybe you have to pay for shipping charges and all your utility and phone bills, all right? If you do not pay now, you pay later, then it comes your accounts payable. All right, are you familiar with accounts payable? Hmm. You see that in your uh, balance sheet item, yeah? Statement of your financial position, you are the current liabil liabilities, accounts payable. All right, why you put accounts payable? Kata like you buy inventory, so you debit your inventory, credit your accounts payable. So it means that you're going to pay that later. But because it's current liability means that the period given is within one year. All right? It could be three months, 90 days here. Yeah? It could be one month. Oh. But uh, but it, the period must be between one, uh, less than 12 months. Yeah? Or you may buy your office supplies on account. Right? So all these create accounts payable. So when you have this transaction, all right, you're going to debit your, for example, whatever services, it could be an asset and then credit, uh, it could be an inventory, it could be an office supply. So debit your inventory, debit your office supply, credit your accounts payable. All right. Uh, but another one is what I call notes payable. So what's the difference between current uh, uh, accounts payable and notes payable? Notes payable ni is a, is a note, nah, I don't note. Yeah. Uh, so it said that when a company borrows money, so normally it's not because you purchase uh, merchandise, it's not because of you purchase supplies, but because you borrow money. All right. So the difference is that you borrow money here, you borrow money uh, for a short term period for less than twelve months. Right. Normally you you borrow from uh, not from financial institution. Right. It could be from other creditors. Right. So bila you have the notes payable, mana ni memang ada notes lah. All right, so the notes payable could be current notes payable means that you have to pay within one year or it could also be non-current notes payable. So it means that the payback period is longer, right? So oh, that is a new payable. Long term yeah? juga lah. Long term uh, juga lah. Long term, lah. Long term lah. All right. Right? Okay. 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 So this is an example of, we say notes payable. Nampak dia ada macam, ada notes lah. All right, it says that, okay, San Antonio, Texas, uh, the date is 1st November, uh, Six months after this date. Right? Is it like, like, like agreement? Uh, it says, it's, it's, dia memang lah, it's a contract, it's an agreement. Uh. Tapi uh, bertulis lah. I mean, uh. dalam bentuk notes. Dia panggil notes lah. Benda ni. Oh. Yeah, so dalam notes tu dia ada tulis nama the company and then bila dia nak bayar, in this case, how much is 10,000, interest at the 9% per annum. Uh, so all the details is that. So it's a contract so it means that the company has to pay within when? Uh, six yeah, months. Ah, yeah, uh, within six, six months. So yeah. the short term lah, current liabilities, right? Tapi kata lah, kata three years ke, then it become long term lah. Long term, long term. Uh, so what you understand from this notes payable? Who is the creditor? Siapa yang who give actually give the money borrowed? Who uh, who lend the money? Uh, John. Huh? John, eh, sorry. Uh, John Cockwell, yeah. John, John Cockwell is yeah. the one who actually lend the money, 10,000 to Porter Company. Ah, uh. uh, So the details is all there. But not only 10,000 are the interest at 9% per annum. Uh, okay. Per so agak-agaknya, at the end of the six months, how much actually Porter Company paid San Antonio? Oh, San Antonio nama tempat sahaja. Uh, how much actually? Okay. Uh, At the end of the six months, remember you have to pay six months, within six months. How much actually the amount paid by Porter Company? How much dia pinjam? Dia pinjam 10,000 or 10,000. Okay, 10,000. So that mean... Interest dia berapa? 9%. 9% per annum. So, kalau you nak tahu berapa total you pay, what you do is that 10,000 times by 9% K 
Okay. How much you get? What is the interest okay. amount? Nine percent. How much is the interest? Nine hundred per. Nine hundred. Nine hundred per year. Per, 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 per year. Per year. But you only pay for six months. So how much would be the interest? So they mean nine hundred times by six over twelve. So but you only pay for six months. The nine mm. nine percent is for annum for twelve months. But your contract is only for six months, then nine by six over twelve. Lah. So the interest is 450. 450. Okay? Yeah. Six months. Do you six get 450? 10,000 times by 9% times by six over 12. Six over 12. Eh? You get that? Yeah, yeah. Mm. 450, can? 450. So that is the interest only. So they may have fear, half year. How much is, yes. Half How year. much is the total amount paid? Ten thousand uh sorry for ten thousand four hundred fifty ringgit. Yeah, so means that at the end of the six months, for the company have to pay ten thousand four hundred and fifty ringgit 50. or dollar to John Cockwell. Do you get that? Yeah, so yeah. remember that when we talk about the interest per annum. So, I have to look at whether is it for six months ke, nine months ke, so I have to apportion accordingly. Ingat tak? Yeah, insyaAllah. Okay. okay. So, this is a notes payable, yeah? So, normally notes payable ni when you borrow money. Alright? Kalau accounts payable is because you purchase inventory or your office supplies. Thank you, man. Yeah, sure. yeah, so in this case, because of the uh, inventory. Okay. Accrued liabilities, this one actually we have covered in the last class before. Accrued liability arise from the recognition of expenses for which payment will be made in the future. All right, accrued liabilities are often referred to accrued expenses. So sometimes it's funny accrued liabilities and most of the time it's funny accrued expenses. Accrued so what happens is that you incur the expenses but you're going to pay that later. All right, example. You buy an interest, can Every month you have to pay interest, but you don't pay immediately, you pay later. Right? So, there is interest uh, and interest payable. So, you have to recognize the interest expense. At the same time, you have also to uh, recognize the interest payable. All right? Income tax. All right? You know income tax expense, how much? So, but then you're going to pay that later. So, you create income tax payable. So, you have expense and you also have a liability. All right, similarly for your payroll, lah, accrued payroll, maknanya you are the payroll expense and then you're going to pay that later, then you create accrued payroll. Right, so all these are your liabilities. Right, so payroll ni, uh, gross pay minus net pay. Right? All right, this one actually, what it means that is that uh, talking about your payroll, uh, a company will have to pay their employees. Right, they panggil payroll. Kita panggil kat same Malaysia, we call it as a salary. We call it as a remuneration. Okay. But what if you look to your pay slip, what you get is not your gross pay. What you get is only the net pay because why? The amount, there are certain expenses that has to be deducted at the company level. All right. For example, you have to pay for your income tax. You have to pay for your so so. All right. For example, Loan, you have to pay. EPF. Huh? What else? EPF. Uh, EPF, EPF loan, right? personal loan, also, right? If you deduct all these, right, personal loans, so what you get is a net pay. Yeah? Net pay, yes. Yeah. But for the company, all right, uh, when they deduct from you, all right, they are not going immediately. The company, for example, you are A, they don't pay immediately income tax. Right? So they will take a few days late, lah. Right, so normally they pay at the end. Ke. So if the company have not paid, all right, then it become a liability to the company. So that is your payroll liability. All right, unearned revenue is very important. All right, because why? Uh, when you receive cash from your customer before you actually earn the revenue, right? Revenue here it could be, for example, if you are talking about services, you receive cash in advance, but you have not performed the services. And let's say example tailor, right? Those who actually uh, make clothing, 
So what happened is that customer pay in advance 100 ringgit. But the baju is not yet ready. Alright, so they pay you in advance. So it means that whatever money that you receive, you have to debit your cash. But have you actually performed revenue? Not yet. Have you earned the revenue? No. That's why it's called unearned revenue. So even though namanya revenue, it's but the unearned way. revenue is a liability. Right? So, but later, so when you record, when you refuse, receive the cash, or you debit your cash, all right, but then you're going to recognize a liability now. And that liability is known as unearned revenue. All oh, right, and then later, revenue. when you actually perform the services, right, then you are going to recognize your revenue, then you're going to debit your punya liability because you want to remove your liability. So you debit your unearned revenue you credit your revenue. So revenue here, the credit one is a revenue lah, right? It's an income statement punya item. Income statement. Income statement. All right. And then talking about uh, long-term liabilities, though this is not okay. another topic, it's part of the liability. So for example, normally you borrow from the banks, all right? It could be insurance company, it could be a pension plans lah. Yeah. So um, bonds ni, all right, company katalah, uh, <clears throat> okay, the difference here is that Katala company for small amount They need to borrow They can borrow from the banks Alright, they can borrow uh, But Malaysia, I don't know whether we can actually borrow from insurance company I'm not sure about that I don't think so Right, uh, pension plans Tak pernah dengar lagi lah kan Right But most of the time Company Katala not big project Alright, they will need a large debt Alright, a large cash so what they do is that they're going to issue bonds yeah so issue bonds my name company will issue the bonds anyone can actually buy the bonds so bonds is just oh. a certificate nah. all right it's a certificate that so, the, so uh, they mean the bond issued by 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 uh, bank or the company. company 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 yes bond issued by the company uh, but bank is also a company itself Right, bank pun boleh issue bonds, but normally what we are referring now is a company that issue bonds lah, right? Because they not cash, right? So bonds ni is a liability lah. So what happen is that uh, macam ni je, it's just that uh, an individual, for example, uh, company issue bonds. Okay, I uh, I will buy the bonds. Kita kata buy bonds lah. So actually I can beli certificate kat lah hundred thousand, right? So I give them the company hundred thousand. I receive a bond certificate. So normally it's a uh, bond in long term, right? So it could be three years, it could be four years punya uh, agreement. So it means that later after four years, then the company will pay back me 100,000. Uh, remember that the bonds will always come with interest. Lah. Yeah, so it means that uh, I will receive more than what I lend. I, I, I not lend. In this case, I give I give loan to the company is hundred thousand, yeah. So the company will pay me back hundred thousand plus interest. Again, that interest is again interest. So, but that is a conventional. Uh, in uh in Islamic banking, all right, we call it as a suku. Pernah dengar suku? Pernah tak? Suku pernah dengar tapi saya tak tak. Suku is a bond, right? It works like a bond. So it means that kita issue suku, maknanya we issue uh, suku and then uh, on the panggil apa? Uh, general public will buy the suku lah, right? And then the means that company get money from the public. Uh, after some time, they have to pay back to the uh, investor. Kita panggil investor bond holders. Okay? Bond. But I will not go very detail so, because dalam ni, uh, kalau, kalau bonds, if you buy bonds, then you are the bond holder Okay, right. Uh, oh. Then we hmm. have all these maturity. Ma like, like shareholder lah. Dia bukan shareholder tau, dia bond holders. So, dia tak akan terima dividend, dia akan terima interest. Tak, tak, maksud saya, maksud dia lebih kurang tu Oh. Ah, dia tak sama. Interest. Tak kata macam, tak sama. Alright, because bond holders, they, on, they, are, they don't own okay. the company. They just give loan to the company. Okay. Uh, maturing of obligation, yes. all right. Um, 
I'm not uh, okay. Installment notes payable. Never mind. All right. Okay. So remember that we're talking about when you take up loan from the bank, for example, right? You have a hundred thousand again. So hundred thousand, but you remember that you're going to pay in ten years time. Okay. So satu tahun, how much you pay? Ten years time. Satu tahun. 100,000 divided by 10 years lah. Monthly. Hmm? 100,000. Sekejap eh. 100,000. Tak apa, tengok example this one. Alright, so on October 15, year 1, Kings Inn purchased furnishings at a cost of 16,000. Huh? The loan was an 18-month loan and had an interest rate of 12%. Monthly payment is 1,000 beginning November 15. Let's prepare an amortization table for King's Inn. So this one you nak tengok je macam how much you pay every month lah. Alright. You 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 borrow, alright, when you purchase, alright, you create accounts payable. The cost is only 1698 yeah, yeah. But then it comes with an interest of 12% per annum. So, bila you nampak 12%, 9%, so all this is always per annum. Right? Per so, annum. then you say that the monthly uh -huh. payment is 1000 So, how much you actually pay every month? So, you know that every month, how much you pay? 1000 But that 1000 is 1, for 18 months. So, kalau you kira 18 months, total berapa you bayar? Uh, 80,000 18,000 How much you actually borrow? Borrow uh, 16,398 Why you pay 18,000? Why you pay more? Nah. You buy it You borrow 16,000, but for 18 months, total that you pay is 18,000. So there's a difference of 16,302. Uh, you pay extra 1,600. Why is that extra? Right? So the extra is actually your interest. Right? You have to pay 1,600 interest expense but that 1006 is total you divide by 12 total tak nampak uh, screen kenapa tak nampak pula I tak, tak nampak slide, slide tak nampak hmm. ada suara doktor pun putus-putus ah ha, ni mesti you punya komputer ni cik wah sekarang you nampak apa Okay, never mind. I will just continue because I'm recording this. Okay, uh, where were we just now? Okay, so it means that, right, you had to pay. Never mind, I'm recording. I'm recording this. Later you watch this. All right, uh, so it means that the different, all right, you pay uh, the different over 18 months period. So the monthly that you pay 1,000, all right, minus 1,000 is 866 is the principal portion, right? So if you were to look at this, let me put this into a new file. This one is a um, chapter 10, right? Uh, this one is example. Let me bring this. Okay. How much is it that you have 16.3 cost? 16.398. 
interest twelve percent. Okay, berarti kembali. Berapa hmm. dek lah? Fifteen months. Hmm. This one is 12%. Okay. So monthly, you pay 1,000. Okay. So what happened is that, right, at the end of the day, you have to pay total of 18,000. Right. But on a monthly basis, how much you have to pay? Total is your 1,000 times by 18 months. So you pay 18,000, right? How much the cost? 18, cost 000, is yes. 16,000. What's the difference here? 16,398. Yeah, that way is the cost. So it means that here, the difference here is the... 16,398. Right, so the interest portion is over 18 months period. Monthly interest How much is the monthly interest? Is whatever you have here, total interest over 18 months. Huh? Oh, 18 months. Right. Mm -hmm. 18 ringgit. Ah, betul. So 18 ringgit, yes. Kan? So, but remember that what you pay yes. on a monthly basis, monthly you pay how much? 1,000. Monthly installment that you pay is 1,000. 1,000. Right? 1, so, interest yang you pay per month? 89 ringgit. Uh, so, how much? So, that means 1,089. Yeah. 1,089. No, no, no. That 1,000 is including the interest portion. Oh. Oh. Uh, so the balance oh, I mean, is the principal portion. Right? 1,000 minus 89. Uh, so, even though you pay 1,000 per month, but you actually pay 89 for the interest, the principal portion, you only pay 911. 911, yeah. 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 So, it means that that's why you take more than uh you, that's why you have to pay more than uh, the cost. Uh, the, the principal, the principal. Yeah, the principal. Right? Katalah you nak tengok betul tak you punya interest ni 1602. This one you dapat macam mana because kita compare between your total cost that you pay, 1000 per month kan? Monthly, yeah. M-O-N-T-H. Okay? Cost, kalau you nak tengok sini, I, I can do campur kan sini. 16,000 cost. Kan? I can darabkan dengan 1.12. Right? I nak cari apa tadi ya? Interest kan? Salah, salah. Nak tengok, hmm. kita nak tengok interest kita betul-betul. Nak tengok interest saja kan? I nak tengok interest ni darabkan dengan uh -huh. 0.12. I dapat, tak tahu, tak dapat pula amount dia. Apa tak sama eh? Uh. Atas tak betul ke atas betul tu? 12% per annum. Kita buat times by 18 months. Right? So, ni darabkan dengan ha, 18, 18 ha. over 12. Okay. Tak dapat. Oh, sudah. Kenapa tak dapat? Okay, kita tengok jawapan dia. Let me see example here. Alright. Oh, pakai pakai reducing balance lah. Tak apa. Alright, don't worry about this amortization table sebab dia pakai reducing balance. Dia pakai straight line. Okay, right? so don't oh. worry about this amortization table sebab dia pakai reducing balance. Alright, what you paid. Alright, and then for example, in this one dia buat on a monthly basis. You should, uh, first, alright, monthly payment you pay every month is 1,000. Right? From that 1,000 for the first month, you pay interest 1% of the last unpaid. So that's why they guna different uh, method lain lah. Yeah? Kita pakai straight line method. So that's why ours is only, uh, baik ya Padam, nanti you confuse. Right? So the interest, total interest is you pay is that 1602 lah. 
right? Uh, on average. So, kita pakai a straight line method. But in this case, dia pakai reducing balance. Nampak? Redu reduction in unpaid balance. Interest expense 1% of the last unpaid balance. So, that's how they compute, yeah? So, it's not very straightforward lah. Okay, never mind. Don't worry about this uh, table, yeah? So, it's just that uh, when you have to, the when you have that, all right, see that you have the interest expense is actually 164. Installment note payable is 836 and cash is 1000. So, in our example, you know that every month when you pay, this is your cash, right? You credit your cash and then this one is your interest expense. Debit your interest, interest. expense. Interest. Uh, and then this one is credit your uh, in this case, not cash. You pay cash 1,000. This principle is your liability. Oh. So, they buat apa? Uh, in some not payable. Right? Not payable. Kenapa dia debit? Oh. Debit lah. Alright, debit. Uh, about credit. Debit. This one is debit, yeah? Debit. You are not payable. Not payable. Not payable. So, the value of not payable, we keep on reducing lah. Sebab you debit. Alright, every time you pay, alright, you're not payable, now becomes smaller. You get that? Mm. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that is on the how to compute your installment payment. Okay, uh, bonds payable, I will not go very detailed. Alright, it means that bonds need, pay why is it payable? Okay, pardon me. Bonds need issued by the bank, uh, by the company. By the company. Issued to the public. And then what happened that the, the public will uh, buy the bonds. Buy the bonds. Right, kita panggil buy lah. So, bila you buy the bonds, so now you get money from the public lah. Right? From the bonds too. So, katalah you dapat 100,000. But this bond, you have to pay in the future. Pay back to the bond holder. So, that's why bonds yeah. tu jadi payable. So, upon payable. the bonds, right, you need to debit your cash because you dapat cash. But credit your bonds payable because you have to pay the bonds later. Could be three years, four years later. It could be ten years later. It depends on the bond. Lah. Yeah. So it becomes a bonds payable. But at the same time, remember that you have to pay interest to the bond holders every year. Right? So, oh. so that's how bonds work. Lah. Yeah. So, um, but I will not go into very detail because bonds need, all right, you can issue bonds Alright, uh, they are the method lah. Alright, you boleh issue bonds at uh, type of bonds. These are the example of okay. bonds lah. Alright, but I will not go very detailed on bonds. But you should know that bila you issue bonds, alright, you dapat cash. Company will receive cash, but you're going to credit your bonds payable. Right, bonds payable normally is a long-term liability. Alright, it's a non-current. And then, every year, you have to pay your bond holders the interest so the interest will oh. be interest expense debit and credit your cash right so how you compute of course normally dalam bond to then mention what is the interest portion everything so in this case uh interest payment uh, is for half year so that's why they're not half so the interest is six percent per annum but they pay half only so normally they pay half year half year lah. so maybe in end of june sekali one time and another time is uh, December. So, in one year, you pay two dividends. Two times dividend lah. So, 3% and 3%. Dividend, okay. dividend, dividend or interest, daughter? Interest. Ini bond. Dividend interest. you pay to shareholder. Bond, oh, you pay okay. interest. Okay? Okay, okay, okay. So, ingat, ini kita buka okay, bila you cakap pasal shareholder, dividend, itu, itu shares. Just tak pasal tadi, tak pasal tadi doktor sebut uh, dividend tu saya tanya. Oh, no, 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 no. You pay interest. Right? Interest. Interest Bond. lah. Itulah. Ah, sorry, sorry. If I, I'm tak pasal so dia. That, so, that, so, 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 so that mean uh, pay, pay interest twice per year lah. Yeah. Right? Ah, so in this case, bayar nampak dia bayar half situ. 6% times by half. So means that dia bayar for half year only lah. So another time dia akan record lagi sekali. Right? Bond interest payment, bond interest payable. So, in this case, katalah you pay record interest payment on December. But in this case, alright, you, you, bond interest payable, maksudnya? Uh, 
You in in December, okay? September 1st, you have the bond interest that, uh, macam mana ni? Record the interest payment on December 31st. Alright. So, tadi dia bayar September. Right? September. So, from uh. September, dia dah bayar 30,000. October, 30, November, 000. December. Right? September so 1st, dia tak bayar lagi. Empat bulan lagi. Right? So, oh. bond, the, here the payable is the interest tau. Not the bond. The interest on the bond. Interest so, only. Tak, yes, yes. Uh. Tapi you tak bayar lagi. You bayar later. So, that's why it become bond interest payable. It's a liability. So, they mean, so they mean they pay interest first? No, they pay. Right. Dia tak pay lagi. Dia, 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 dia kena recognize interest tu. They have to oh. recognize the interest incurred. But it's just that they have not paid the payable. So, kalau kat sini, alright, in this example, when they have the interest expense, dia terus bayar cash, 30,000. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But okay. here, interest expense, tapi dia tak bayar. It become oh, a liability. Okay. So, it become bond interest payable. So, they are going to pay that later. Right? You say that okay, every okay. number, well, corporation ma must make an adjusting entry to record the four months interest that has accrued since, sep since, since September. The accrual liability for bond interest payable will be paid within a few months. Okay. Right? So, dekat sini, September ni, dikira daripada sampai August lah. So, maknanya interest tu daripada January sampai August. So, ada 8 bulan. So, titik tu ada for, for 8 month lah. Yes. So, then December, alright, yang ni dia dah bayar. Okay, they pay out cash. But for September, October, November, December, 4 months, right? So, that, yes. that's why they come 4 over, 4 over 12. 4 over 12. Ah, right? So, this one, dia tak bayar lagi. Alright, yeah, they yeah, have yeah. to recognize the expense, but they will pay that later. No, they, they mean their liabilities lah. Uh, so, it's a current liability. Current liability. Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, alright. I don't want to go very detail on these bonds, yeah? I think that I will stop bonds. But bonds ni dia banyak. Bonds issued at par. Bond issued at discount. Bond issued at premium. Right? So, bila you katalah the inter stated interest rate is above market rate. So, maknanya katalah uh, normally market rate is uh, 10%. But your punya bond you issued at 12%. People still want to pay for it. So, you say that that is issued at premium. Right? Or is equal to market rate is face amount. But below market rate is at discount. So, but I do not want to go very detailed on this. Lah. Yeah? So, I will skip this amortization everything this one is very very technical right uh, how much debt should a company have yeah so bila kita kata normally company akan use the term leverage right what do you call that leverage, leverage. Uh, so leverage ni maknanya you punya uh, level of debts ah. right so, using borrowed money to finance business operation is called applying leverage. Right? The more leverage a company apply, the greater of net income and the return on equity. So, uh, bila you cakap high, bila company tu is highly leveraged, maknanya company tu banyak borrow money. Right? So, sometimes it, it depends hmm. on how good the company lah in, katalah when you borrow money, how you actually use the money. Some company borrow money, katalah you borrow money, a company borrow money from the bank, the rate is 4%. And they can invest the borrowed money into a share market, right, or securities. And that give you 6% return. So, tadi cost of borrowing is 4%. Now, the the investment, the returns of investment is 6%. So, at least you have 2% profit lah. Uh, so, that's why uh, they kata how much you should... It depends on company how they use the borrowed money lah. Right? Sometimes the borrowed money used for operating. So in that case, there's no, uh, yeah you have to pay the cost of borrowing lah. But some companies borrow because they can invest in a higher returns. Right? Investment with a higher return. So in that case, they actually make use of the uh, leverage lah. Alright? Uh, most infamous uh, issue of ethics and fraud, most company uh, financial fraud occurred at Enron. Uh, the fraud involved understatement of debt, 
Right so understatement of debt katalah debt sepatutnya 1 billion Alright dia kata debt dia ada 1 million je Right so bila under state of debt Alright so your liability is lower Right so what So there's a misrepresented of the financial statement Financial statement 550 million each year Alright from 1997 to 2000 So masa Enron ni it, it was in 1997, 2000 ni uh, This the period when I started working at Aswatah Scoopers Right oh. so I started working in 1997 So this is the, the 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 year the fall of Enron and all many big com big companies are at that time Right so and then it happened that the auditors are also big firms right in the, uh, during that time the auditor was Arthur Anderson, all right? And now we don't see any more Arthur Anderson. No, the company also collapsed, yeah, the audit firm. Oh. Mm. All right, okay. Then that is your chapter 10. Yeah, so it means that for liability, you should know that liability, there are two types of liability, current liability and non-current liabilities. Non-current liabilities. Uh, liability is always a credit balance, right? And then you have to know that uh, whenever there's a payment of your current li uh, liabilities that will reduce the liabilities. Huh? So when you make payment, of course, you will credit your cash, right? Then you reduce your accounts payable, then you debit your accounts payable. Accounts payable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So... That's it for... Chapter 10. Chapter 10.